Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about CSS animations. So CSS animations are the advanced level features of CSS transitions. They allow us to provide animations on an element in multiple stages, in more than two stages. So we have in the markup we have our simple div. In the CSS I'm going to grab that div and I'm going to say Let's give it a height of 100 pixels, a width of 100 uh, pixels, and a background color of uh, lawn green, my favorite, one of my favorite colors. There we go. So that there is our box. Now, when it comes to animations, two things have to be specified. Now, again, animations is like a very much bigger topic than um, transitions. So an entire chapter has to be dedicated but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep it very simple just to get you started with animations. So I'm going to say animation name. So the first thing that you need to provide, I'm going to say my dash first dash anime. And then you need to provide some duration for your animation. So animation duration. There we go. So I'm going to provide it 10 seconds. So you can really see. Now you have created your animation name and animation duration, but the animation is not created yet. You are in the process of creating it. So animations are created using something called keyframes, right? So we have keyframes. The reason that they're called keyframes is for the same reason that we have frames in, in, in motion picture something like that right so we have frames like let's say right now I'm recording 30 frames per second so in each second I'm gonna have 30 frames uh, there are some cameras that record 10,000 frames per second each frame is essentially an image of the thing that it is you're trying to capture and that is the basic idea behind the motion capture uh, motion picture movies right so you have uh, when you have a movie you have like millions and billions of images which are transitioning and creating that motion picture uh, so I'm not gonna deep uh, um, deep uh, dive deep into it I'm just gonna say at keyword key frames so it has to be followed by at it is an at rule so we have at rules in CSS Provide the name of your uh, animation. It's my animation, my first anime, and then open up the declaration block. So within the declaration, the first thing that you need to provide is the state. So the common states that for beginners uh, are from, and then you're going to have two. So these are going to be the two states that you want to control this block. Now, you do not need to provide the ID of block, the name of block, the element, because that is what the animation name has taken care of. So when you provide the animation name within the block, you can just reference that block using your animation name. That's it. So from is going to be the starting point, to is going to be the ending point. It's exactly like a transition. It's, it has two states. So I'm going to say from background color, I want it to go from lawn green to background color, which is its own color. That's why it's going to be the starting point. I'm going to go to blue violet in 10 seconds. Keep that in mind. So uh, there we go. It just started it. So when I refresh the page in 10 seconds, it's going to go from lawn green to blue violet. And then after it is done, it uh, come on buddy it should go back yeah it did go back to its original state so uh, keyframe animations animations they could be applied on hover effects so whenever you refresh the page okay you say okay I do not want this effect to appear when the user refreshes the page I want it to appear whenever the user hovers on this block you can do that as well so you just have to provide your animation on the hover state when you provide it on the hover state, it's not going to appear on any other state apart from the hover. So I'm going to say block. Let's grab these values. I'm just going to give you an example how that is going to turn out. So when you hover, then it is going to change. If you move away, it's not going to change. Hover, it changes. So the trigger point is different, right? You, wanna, you want the trigger point to be hover. 
you want the trigger point to be the refresh of the page. That depends on your choice. That's basically your choice. So I'm going to go back. That is going to get very advanced very quickly. So that is uh, going from one color to the next color. I'm going to show you how we can translate that as well. So we are going to have at keyframes. Um, my, anime, my anime name, my first anime. So now here is where the animation is different than, than transition. So you are going to say at 0%. Then you can say at 50%. Then you can say at 100%. So essentially, you can say 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, all the way to 10. 10.1, 10 10.2, 10 all the way to 20. So you can technically have 1 million states in your animations if you're feeling like you can write all of that code. Now, I do suggest that you check out CodePen dot io there is some like out of this world animations done in pure css and that is enough to inspire you to become a front-end developer uh so i'm gonna say at the zero i'm gonna grab it i'm gonna say transform transform translate so at the zero point the translate x is going to be zero halfway through our animation I want the translate, uh, sorry, transform. I always misspell it, so that's, there is no exception. Uh, I want it to go to 250 pixels. And by the end, I want it to come back. So now there are three states. So that's state one. Now this is state two. And coming back is going to be state three. You can add another uh, state in here as well. For example, uh, in the you can say translate itself. I'm gonna just comment this one out. Let's just comment that one out. Uh, copy it. Um, mm, copy that. Put it right here. You can do some crazy stuff with this. So I'm gonna grab all the excess. I'm gonna say Control D, and I'm gonna just remove that. Let's uncomment all of this. You can say you can say that around at around. 25% and at around um, 75%. So you have translate. Then I'm going to grab this translate. We have translate here. So at around 25%, um, let me just copy that, put it right there. So at around 25%, you want it to be moved um, towards the right in the x direction but not in the y direction so i'm going to say 250 uh pixels uh towards the right direction but zero towards the y direction and uh in there um in 50 percent you can say 250 to the uh it, it has to retain its 250 pixels to the right the 2000 and then you want it to come down like 150 pixels and uh, basically just remove this so i'm going to say 30. i'm not going to get crazy with this it's going to take so much time so there we go come on buddy and now it should sh like go diagonally to here there we go so you can do that as well uh i could do one more so just to make sense what I'm trying to do here, just I'm going to give it uh, the 75%. I changed my mind. So I'm going to say trans. Always, I told you, always misspell this. Translate, not X. So when it comes to the third point, uh, I want it to go here. So in here, X is 0, Y is 150. It's like the clip path. And then it should go back. So it should create like a square. A, a, a rectangle not a square there we go so you can go crazy with this as well you can do that on hover as well with this our lecture comes to an end see you in the next one